Hey guys, Octase in here, and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be taking a look at the coolest mod I have seen in a long time. Now, number one reason why this is cool is because, you know, I made it. I mean, obviously. As far as I know, this is the first attempt ever to create a computer with Lua that can be programmed using Lua inside Mindtest. But there's a lot more to it than just that, so let's take a look. For now, let's place down a brand new computer and take a look as to how it actually works. We can see it's an unconfigured computer. If we right click it, it will switch to BIOS mode and then it will switch to ON. Let's just call this computer test. Hit set. And now we can see we are greeted with, a, in my opinion, very nice form spec. Let's start off by taking a look around the form spec itself. Down here we have our input. Up here is our non-editable and strollable, as we'll see later, output buffer. Here is a help button, which when you hover over will display the help text for whatever program you happen to be in. Over in this tab are the settings, telling you the version, and also allowing you to reset the file system if you really mess up or something. Speaking of file systems, let's talk about those. Every single computer has its own file system, a physical one where you could access outside of Mindtest as well. So let's take a look at what's actually there. There are not a bunch of actual operating system like commands like ls or echo in BIOS OS yet, but the goal of BIOS OS is to essentially replicate a basic Linux operating system inside of Mindtest. So that will be coming hopefully by version 0.7. So let's take a look at what's already here. To start off, there's the print function. We could print test. And talking about the file system, we could print stuff like fs.list. Just blank for the root directory, which tells us all the files and subdirectories inside of your computer's file system. Or print fs.list os. That's where all the actual operating system files, the main and start files, are actually stored. But that's not all. I mean, of course, there's actually a very, very extensive API for interacting with both the file system and the computer itself. For the file system, we can execute commands like fs.create, test. And then if we were to do print fs.list, again showing the root directory, it would show that there's now a test file. And we could write to the test file by doing fs.write, test, and let's actually give it a command to run. Let's have it run print, this is inside file. And then if we just hit enter, then we could do something like print fs.read test. And we'll be able to see that that was written to the file test. Now we could do something like fs.run test, and we'd see that it was actually printed to the command line just like it would be normally. It doesn't stop there though. You can make directories, remove directories, copy directories, copy files, run files like we just saw here, all sorts of different stuff. Not only that, but you can also access information about the computer itself. For example, we could print get attribute attr name. And you remember we named this test, well, it's test. Or we could print get os prefix. And then we can see that the prefix is this little test thing. Going even further, we could print commands like get os, the clear command. And we can see that's clear. If we type clear, then everything clears off. So there's a lot of things that you can do right here in a Lua computer and mind test. The help button can be configured with set help. We could set it to test. And if we hit enter, we can see it's now test. Or we could just do set help blank, and then it's back to the default. Talking further on the file systems, we can see that this one has the test file, but if we were to create another computer, turn it on, and let's just call it the same name, and then if we were to do fs.list, and list the root directory again, we would see that it does not have that same test file. I could do create another file, and we're just going to call this one file2, and then list the contents of the root directory again. We would see that file2 now appears, but if I went back to the other computer, and listed the contents of the root directory. We can see that once again it does not show up. So file systems are isolated. Another thing, another good thing about computers is they can run in multiplayer. Aside from file systems being isolated, all code that you run does run under an environment. So for example, if I were to call an invalid function, let's say invalid, 
it does not trash my entire game. It just says attempt to tall global invalid, a nil value. If I just typed a bunch of nonsense, not even a function at all, we would see equals expected. So just normal Lua errors. I could do stuff like local test equals test, but there is an issue with that. Because the form spec is reloaded, the files are recalled, that means that variables you set do not exist if you were to execute another command. If I did print test, it would be nil. That is a feature that will hopefully be around in 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. So these are computers inside MindTest. They have a long ways to go, but as of now, there are a lot of functions that you can use to interact with your computer, all of which are documented, every single one of them. There will be a link down below to that for those of you who are interested. But this isn't the end. Aside from actual Linux-like commands, I'm planning to add to the operating system, that means BIOS OS, the ability for you, as the user, to easily add your own program to your computer here. Not only that, but the programs will be able to customize the output buffer so that it can be editable, for example, a program to edit a file. Not only that, by version 1.0, programs will be able to register their own tabs up here and define their own form. So you'd have actual GUI applications and you could multitask too. Now for those of you who are server owners, this mod should be okay to run on your server. However, I cannot guarantee it as it is only at this point being run on one server to my knowledge, that being Old Coders Open Mind, which we will talk about later. But for those of you who are considering running it on your server, I can say that it seems to be very well sandboxed. From my testing, I don't see any way that person could actually break out of the sandbox. And not only that, I do have timeout code to make sure that loops will time out. So if I were to enter an infinite loop into a computer like while true do end and hit enter, I get code timed out. So this means that if a player makes an infinite loop or a really long one or something like that that could lag out your server. It will time out before it actually gets a chance to make your server really laggy or maybe even crash it. So with this in mind, I would really appreciate it if there are some server owners who would be willing to run this mod on their servers, as it would be a great help to me through testing and also would help more people to hear about the mod and get a chance to give it a try. Speaking of servers, for those of you who'd like to give this mod a try right away without actually installing it on your computer, it is currently running on one of old pro old coders servers called open mine now this server can be found in the server list but otherwise there will be an IP address down below so here we are on the server as of now you cannot actually craft the digit computers but if you would like to test them out in multiplayer still just send old coder a message like this old coder please give me a digit computer to test and if the situation changes there will be messages at spawn which is over in one direction which is in one direction or another over here but there will be information as to how you can get a digit computer if the situation changes however just to show that they do work here on multiplayer we can place one down you may also have to ask old coder for interact I'm not sure if that will change as well right click it and now we're on and ready to go there may be a little bit of a delay because you're on a server and there may be lag between you and there Let's call this one test as usual. We can just hit set. Again, there will be a little bit of lag. And here we are. It's essentially the same thing. We can do print on the server now. Hit enter. Again, it will take it a second to load up. And there we go. Still, we can hit settings. Essentially, this is the entire digit compute mod for those of you who don't want to actually download it yourself. And this is multiplayer, so you can see if you're a server owner that yes, this does work on multiplayer. This server is available on the server list. Just search for OpenMind, assuming you have the latest version of MindTest, and it should show up right there. Otherwise, it will be in the description down below, as well as the link to the forum post of this mod and where you can download it. Now, this mod will be updated quite frequently, so if you're interested, I'd recommend that you pay very close attention to the forum post. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you en you've enjoyed. Again, if you're interested in trying out this mod, there will be a link down in the description below. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below as well if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you really enjoyed it and would like to see more videos on my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.